Matenva. One of the most common errors that I notice learners make is when they combine an action with a thing, or if you prefer, a verb with a noun. Like for example, seeing the mountains, mm -hmm. driving the car. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have to be you. This doesn't have to be you at all. Mm -hmm. So this video will show you the patterns of how to combine those two things, and then also what's going on behind the scenes. So they understand a little bit more about what's going on. And the end result is that your Gaelic will be sharper and more impressive. Your Gaelic will be a step closer to that of a native speaker, which is what us learners really should be aiming for, I feel. Mm -hmm. Bit by bit by bit, where our Gaelic is growing closer to that of a native speaker. Okay, Gleva. So, <clears throat> we've got some actions and some things. Verbs, nouns. Let's sort out what they mean and then let's combine them. So first of all, egiri. This is a quite a common one. Wanting. Egiri. A feichkin. That's seeing. A goal. Drinking. You could also use agaval. That's fine too. A feichkin again. Seeing. A fakal. Leaving. A glanig, that's cleaning. Cleaning. A gianu, or a gianav, depending on which dialect of Gaelic you're using, that's doing or making. For now, let's focus on it being doing here. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our actions. Let's sort out our things. We've got iesk is a fish. Ku is a dog. Ushkabeha. Many learners know that one. <laughs> Whiskey. Bjantan, those are mountains. Oh, heck. Why not? It wouldn't be one of my videos without a little picture on it. <laughs> Bjantan are mountains. Skull is a school. Primary school, high school, middle school, anything like that. Tei, it's a house. Oh, we got to, we got to, look at that stereotypical house. <laughs> Bit of smoke. <laughs> and oper, oper is uh, work. <clears throat> okay, so we have our actions, we have our things. Let's combine them. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, wanting a fish. Maybe looking for a new pet, because nothing is more exciting than a goldfish that goes around and around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Egiari iisk. Wanting a fish, you just leave it. Egiari iisk. So I want to fish. Hami egiari iisk. Mm hmm. Hami egiari iisk. Let's put that up there. <clears throat> so you could start this with hami. Hami egiri iisk, or I wanted in the past, vami, vami, that's a really funky B. There we go. Vami egiri iisk. In the future, bimi egiri iisk. So you can use these in any tense. Mm -hmm. In any tense. <clears throat> you just plug in this before. Hami agiri iisk. I want a fish. Straightforward. Yeah. As, as we say, <laughs> as we say up this way, <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay. Wanting a fish. Agiri iisk. Gleva. Seeing a dog. Oh, I see a dog. Hami a feichkin ku. Hami a feichkin ku. Seeing a dog. No change. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Drinking whiskey. Yeah, no Gaelic learner ever does that. A gol ushkabeha. So, vami, let's say. I was, right? Vami a gol ushkabeha. I was drinking whiskey. Gleva. Seeing mountains. I was seeing mountains. Vami a feichkin bjountan. No change. 
no lenition or anything like that in everyday Gaelic. However, in more formal Gaelic and uh, more traditional Gaelic, this may be lenited. Mm -hmm. Grammatically speaking, that's the rule, but as we know, grammar rules, you know, they can sometimes go by the wayside as language evolves. And in more informal contexts, formal speech isn't really home there. So don't worry about adding an H. Formally, yeah, you probably would. <laughs> uh, but in everyday Gaelic, everyday speech, don't worry about adding an H. Just leave it as Bjountan. A feichkin Bjountan. Seeing mountains. I will be seeing mountains. Be me a feichkin Bjountan. I'm going to go to Scotland. Uh, be me a feichkin Bjountan. I will be seeing the mountains. Be me a gol ishkabeha. Oh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what about leaving a school? Maybe a teacher is leaving a school that they work at, that kind of thing. A fakal skull. Ha mi a fakal skull. Andrasta. I'm leaving a school at the moment. <clears throat> Maybe one is a guest speaker or something like that. Kuyu. <clears throat> Gleva. Um, so what about cleaning a house? A glanag te. No change. No lenition or anything happening here. Cleaning a school? A glanag skull. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Leaving a house, a fakal te. Notice this is a house. It's not a specific one. It's just, you know, a house. They're le oh, they're leaving a house up the road. You know, this will happen sometimes. <laughs> and doing work, a gianu oper. This is a nice, um, good Gaelic alternative for a goper. You could say a goper. There's nothing wrong with a goper. But you could also say a gianu Oper. A Gianu Oper. Doing work. Hmm. Ha mi a Gianu Oper anju. Or be me. I will be. Or in the sense of I, I do it often, right? Regularly. Be me a Gianu Oper anju. Just like that. <clears throat> so, an important point I want to call your attention to is these verbs all start with ag or a. Mm -hmm. Ag or a. You'll see why that's important in a moment. But if you want a fish, a dog, whiskey, anything like that, there's no change. You just put the words together and they're fine. <clears throat> okay. So what if I want the fish? Maybe I'm at a restaurant, you know, there's a particularly nice looking um, smoked salmon on the menu or something. Oh, <clears throat> I want the fish. The fish special, maybe. The fish. <clears throat> so, hami egiri anyeshk hami egiri anyeshk. Now, why is it changing? Because we're saying I am wanting of the fish. I want a fish. But if it's the fish, I'm wanting of the fish. Of the fish. Of the poisson. Ha mi e giri anyeshk. If you've seen my foundational videos, you'll remember the story with the monster cat. Va an kacht e giri anyeshk. <clears throat> the cat wanted the fish. <clears throat> so, why does this do this? Why does this change? <clears throat> it's because of something called the genitive. <clears throat> it's very dramatic. <laughs> All the genitive means is we're saying of. Of. <clears throat> so because we're saying of the fish, we need to use the genitive. Or, more precisely, the fish jumps into the genitive. Mm -hmm. Pardon me one moment.
There we go. That's better. <clears throat> All right. So, wanting the fish. Egiri anyeshk. Hami egiri anyeshk. I want the fish. Han kacht glevor. Egiri anyeshk. Wants the fish. Because we're saying of the fish. We're saying of the fish here, so it changes to ishk. Iisk becomes ishk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Shin Shin marahai. <laughs> so if you're wanting something that's not specific, you know, like a fish, a giri iisk. If you want the fish, then the word fish jumps into this genitive realm that a lot of people get scared about. And you don't have to get scared about it, it just means of. And it means you learn a new form of the word. That's all. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so let's keep going here. As we do more examples, this will come clearer for you. So, seeing a dog, I see a dog. Oh, hami if I can coo. That's one way to say it. Hami if I can coo. Oh. But I see the dog. Oh, do you see the dog over there? Oh, I see the dog. So, <clears throat> we're going to say, of the dog. I'm seeing of the dog. Mm-hmm. So this becomes a chon. <clears throat> a chon. Ha mi a feichkin a chon. Ha mi a feichkin a chon. So perhaps in my foundations course, you've seen the video about the dog and the pie. Mm -hmm. How the person sees the dog about to get that pie. Mm -hmm. A feichkin a chon. The man was seeing of the dog. Of the dog. It's of the dog. So the word dog changes to mean of the dog. Yeah. <clears throat> Shin marahai. Shin marahai. A good motto for when you're working with Gaelic grammar. Because certain things can seem a bit odd and unnatural to, well, certainly as an English speaker, to my English brain, certain things seemed quite odd at the beginning of learning Gaelic. Um, but, you know, just accept it. Just nod your head. Okay, gleva, Gaelic grammar. Shin marahai. Shin marahai. That's how it is. <clears throat> You'll save yourself a lot of sanity by just, you know, shrugging and saying, well, shin marahai. And then you just do your best. Don't get too worried about this too much that you don't speak. Just understand that when you're sharpening your accuracy, this is something that happens. Do your best. It'll feel more natural with practice. Okay, let's keep going here. Drinking whiskey. A gol ishkebeha. Gleva. What if I'm drinking the whiskey? In Gaelic, many things have that the on them. The whiskey, the breakfast, the dinner, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The morning. Although we do the morning in English. Yeah. <clears throat> but there, my point being, there's the attached to a lot of things in Gaelic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So drinking the whiskey, that's a really good, authentic, you know, traditional way of saying drinking whiskey. You could say... Agol ushkebeha, drinking whiskey. But if you say drinking the whiskey, your Gaelic, you know, gets, you know, gets kicked up a notch. It gets even more impressive, I think. If someone were to say a giyari, a want to, drinking the whiskey, in one of my lessons, you know, flawlessly, I would be impressed. I would be impressed. <clears throat> All right, drinking the whiskey. So ushkebeha is whiskey. We want to say drinking of the whiskey. An ushkebeha. Mm -hmm. Of the drinking of the whiskey. Luckily, not much happens. This we get this an in front of it. That's the of the. But the word ushkebeha does not change. <clears throat> Doesn't change. Nothing happens if you're saying of the whiskey. Which is great. A gol anushkebeha. Drinking of the whiskey. Hami, hami a gol anushkebeha. Gleva. 
Hami egiri anushkebeh. Oh, we could even make a little story here. Ooh, hami afaykin anushkebeh. Ooh, hami afaykin anushkebeh. Oh, lafroig, gleva. Hami egiri anushkebeh. Ooh, hami egiri. Oh, hami egiri anushkebeh. Ooh, hai blasta. Hami egol anushkebeh. Hami egol anushkebeh. Ooh, lafroig. Wow, lacher. It's strong. Hai lacher. I guess hami talicha. So you can work any of these. Um, any of these actions, any of these verbs, into these forms. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so drinking the whiskey, a gol anushkebeha, drinking of the whiskey. Okay, seeing mountains, sure. But what if we want to see the mountains? That's another another common common um, word that gets the attached to it in Gaelic. The mountains. Mm -hmm. The mountains. All right. <clears throat> so what would happen here? Seeing the mountains, a feichkin nam nam piantan. Mhm. Hami a feichkin nam piantan. Oh, and I gotta put in my little my little piantan here. Oh, Gleva, stereotypical as heck. Look at that. It's like a Coors beer ad, isn't it? Like a Coors beer label. <laughs> when the mountains turn blue, it's cold. Yeah, sure. Okay. Gleva. A feichkin nam biountain. Seeing of the mountains. Hami a feichkin nam biountain. Nam is pretty different from what we've seen, right? Biountain doesn't change, but we've had an here, uh, and then this changes. Nam is used when you have three or more of something in another way. Put another way, when you have a plural. Mm-hmm. I see the mountains. I see the houses. Mm-hmm. Plurals are great in Gaelic. They're so straightforward and there's not a whole lot to learn. With a couple exceptions, of course, because Shin Marahai. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll do a video all about plurals. It'll make everything so much clearer and make you appreciate them more. Okay. Gleva. <laughs> so leaving a school. I, I, that phrase wouldn't be totally, totally high frequency, I don't think. Not super common, but you know. Okay, that's fine. What about leaving the school? The teacher was leaving the school. The pupils were leaving the school. The cleaning staff were leaving the school, right? The bus was leaving the school. Some pretty, pretty high frequency statements there. Some pretty everyday statements we could use with the school. So what do we do? A fakal na skull la. <laughs> leaving of the school. A fakal naskala of the school. Mm -hmm. So, um, a quick point to to Gaelic learners who are not from the UK: <laughs> uh, leaving school, leaving the school, is also another way to say, you know, finishing high school or graduating. You know, it, it has that that meaning to it as well. So, you know, my, my son is graduating, you could say, or my, my children are graduating, my friend is graduating, you know, my nephew is graduating from high school. Any of those, you would say, afakal naskala, leaving of the school, leaving of the school. So remember, when we're using these verbs here, these actions, and we're pairing it with something that's the, like the school, the whiskey, the dog, the fish, the mountains, our thing jumps into this genitive realm, this genitive case. It's very dramatic. 
Okay, let's keep going. <clears throat> so, cleaning a house. Glanuthi. Straightforward, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But what about cleaning the house? Hmm. Well, a glanug. Start with a glanug. A glanug. An. Taya. A glanug and taya. Cleaning of the house. I am cleaning of the house. <laughs> so this tie gets a little E on the end. That's what shows you it's of the house. Like with skull as well. Skull gets that E on the end. That's how you know it's of the school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you notice these little differences on, you know, some everyday things, these changes here like skala or taya, you'll start seeing them in more words. They're usually part of compound words too. Mm -hmm. All right. So last but not least here, um, doing work. Hamia jianu oper and you, hamia jianu oper. Yeah, great. But I'm doing the work. Work is another word that often has the uh, attached to it in Gaelic. Oh, I was doing the work and ba -da -da -da. Or, I like the work and da -da -da, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, like doing work, a genu oper. Great. How do we say doing the work? A genu na hoprach. This is another one that changes completely, like with dog, right? Achon, na hoprach, na hoprach. Again, what does this mean? Of the work. I am doing of the work. Work. Eh, leave it as blue. That's fine. A jianu na hoprach. I'm doing the work. Mm-hmm. Gleva. Um, a fakal na hoprach. I'm leaving the work. So you could use that. I'm leaving my job, maybe. That kind of thing. Leaving it for the day or leaving the work on the table, right? Hami a fakal na hoprach ervorscht. On the table. Yeah. So this might seem a bit odd, putting our, our words into this genitive space, which is very dramatic. <laughs> but this is a big feature of Gaelic, and it's something that's been a stumbling block for you know learners and native speakers alike for a long time. You know, no one's no one's grammar is perfect. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. It's normal to make mistakes, you know. That's fine. Native speakers make mistakes with these too. Yeah, it's all good. Just do what you can. Do your best and reflect on how it went. And, you know, if there's something you can sharpen a little bit more, something you can tweak, improve a little bit, then that's great. Then you've made a step forward and that's worth celebrating. Mm hmm. And if you're celebrating, you might be a goal. Anushkabea. <laughs> Drinking the whiskey. Mm. Okay, so we've been talking about how these words change, you know, how the phrases change when it's the, wanting the fish, seeing the dog, drinking the whiskey, seeing the mountains, leaving the mountains, maybe, leaving the school, cleaning the house, doing the work. Notice, all of these verbs, all these actions start with ag or a. That's really important. Because all these changes here to these things, to make it of the, it happens really because this action is, starts with ag or a. It wouldn't happen otherwise. Well, in certain cases, yes. But um, to think in broad terms, you know, think of these as entire phrases. Entire phrases. Mm -hmm. So, because our verb starts with ag or a, the thing, 
that is targeted by that action, wanting the dog, seeing the mountains, they're all targets of that action, seeing what's being seen, the mountains, the dog, the birthday cake, the mm, quarter cask Lafroig on the table. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gleva, Gleva. That's an important point here. If you were using, you know, different forms like wanted, uh, well, wanted is not a good, a good example, but saw, I saw the mountains. It would not do this. It would not change like this. These changes of the is happening really because your actions start with ag or ah. Yeah, just like that. Okay, gleva. So, that's really it. That's all I wanted to share with you in this video, at least. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, that looks good. That looks good. Alrighty. Like I said, shrug your shoulders. Eh, shin marahai. That's how Gaelic is. Shin marahai, if you're talking about Gaelic. Shin marahai. You know, that's how Gaelic grammar is. Do your best. Don't be afraid to speak. Reflect. Sharpen and improve a little bit. Keep speaking. The Gallic community needs people who speak, not people who worry too much about this and never speak. That's how Gallic will weaken. Mm -hmm. And you can do a lot to help prevent that. Mm. Mm. So, on that note, <laughs> on that kind of sad note, I look forward to seeing your Gallic um, sharpened in this way. I look forward to seeing you use these a bit more accurately as you get used to them, get more comfortable with these ideas here. And I look forward to, you know, seeing you, seeing your Gaelic be closer to that of the native speakers. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Gleva.